Or is it just one such reaction? This is the many sins of Halloween decoration. By Chan 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 Show. Yes, <clears throat> it's a Halloween video because Halloween is around the corner. What does that even mean? It's close, let's just say. But does it have to be around the corner? Yeah, it's it's near the bridge. I, I don't know, near the river, near the house. I don't know, near the alley. Why why are there always corners? Yeah, that's stupid. All right. So Halloween decoration, I guess he's going to talk about here, uh, Halloween, how people stupidly decorate shit. I remember there was a video recently about someone decorated their house, like somebody's about to fall off a house or something, and people call the cops or something, not cops, like, uh, yeah, cops probably, that's what you call, right? Oh, somebody's about to fall, and they like, try to rescue him or something, realize, oh, wait a minute, it's a decoration, and he was told to remove that or something, like, you can't have that, that's like dangerous. People go really creative with that thing. So it's going to be an interesting video. Let's watch it. Decorating on Halloween. It's something we all know and love, right? Ringing in the start of the festive season by getting to express your creativity, doing your part to add to that ethereal vibe that's already in the air. But among us, there are, let's just say, a crowd that likes to get a little too creative. I mean, there's creative license, but maybe these folks should have to go through a process at the DMV to get it, is all I'm saying. Yeah, I felt it right for this to be the topic of today's video. It is the Halloween season after all, and it's just something that's been on my mind for some reason lately, and I've been wanting to bring it to all of you. And that topic is the many sins of Halloween decorations. Exhibit one, the skeletons. Sub-exhibit one, the problem of the animal skeleton. Now, back in the day, you might have had some guy like this you put out, or maybe one of these dudes. That's fine, you know, crows and frogs, uh, that fits with the season's theming. You always see them hanging around somewhere near a cauldron or a witch or a bog, if you will. But now, uh, we seem to be experiencing something that I like to refer to as skeleton creep. Which already sounds bad on the face of it with no context, but trust me, it's even worse in reality. And this phenomenon is the tendency of more and more animal skeletons to enter the scene. For instance, what in the name of God is this? Really, an octopus skeleton. Do I even have to explain why this is wrong? Like, we all- Exactly, like, really? <laughs> Look at how even it looks, man. How would even tentacles work? Like, what kind of a flexible bone even that be? Like, okay. Really? Like, you see tentacle, like, twisting and weird way, like, oh, there must be bone inside. Yeah, sure, why not? We all took first grade biology, right? We're talking about this is a cephalopod. It doesn't have bones. And frankly, I think you knew that and did it anyways, which is what really hurts about it. They've even gone out of their way to give it like the little skull fissures where the fucking skull plate tectonics come together. I mean, I admire the craft and the uh, commitment to de- I think it's mostly like they probably made two sides of it, right? Uh, and then they, they try to stick it together and they made that zigzag because that way it would have a stronger bond, otherwise it would just break apart. I'm pretty sure that must be the case. Detail, but just no. Also, spider skeletons? Th once again, this is an arthropod. Similarly to the last category, they do not possess a rib cage or any such related structure. Cephalopod, arthropod, escape pod. I guess you should have thought about wanting to breathe regularly before you pulled this bullshit. I mean, for fuck's sake, were spiders not scary enough already? You couldn't just use regular spiders and have the same or better effect. This is maybe the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Like, I honestly can't even understand where the impetus for this came from because the spider, it's, it's iconic, it's timeless. We've been running on spiders as a species for like decades, centuries even, no problems. And now you're trying to get cute. And yeah, I mean, sp look, I don't have that, what is that, arachnophobia, I don't have that. We've been seeing the skeleton spiders, like, mm, I don't know, man. And also on the arachnophobia thing. Uh, there was a movie, right, like, where I live, they played to death with that movie on channels and things when I was a kid. I think it was early 2000 movies. Like the spider movie, uh, they, they, they hide in, like, what is it, like, community centers, a school in the end, some kind of a, what is it, some freaking spider or something. I'm pretty sure Scarlett Johansson was that in that one. I think it was one of her first role or something. I don't know, something like that. And I don't know if that movie was good or not, but I, I watched it a lot because this is pre-internet, I guess. I don't know when I was a kid. And on the channel, it was constantly that there. Was that even a good movie? I don't know. But people who are like arachnophobia, the movies like that would have probably is like the first time they realized, wait a minute, I have arachnophobia watching shit like that. The whole movie is about spider. What, imagine watching, you know, walking into a theater without realizing and then watching that. 
and you're like oh it's just a scary movie that's why i'm afraid not really <laughs> it's just like you have the phobia people even cracking jokes in that movie it's not just about all horror and shit and look where it's landed us what even is that's a spy it doesn't look like a spider at all why does he have like the face of a fish frogman from spirited away this is an all-around situation and it doesn't even come close to ending there science has definitely gone too far on this one like a snail skeleton a butterfly skeleton this one this is cursed I'm sure this has been the cause of at least 3% of heart attacks and animal anatomy experts over the last decade. But if that weren't already enough to get your jimmies in a twist, we also have the epidemic of the ear. Can someone tell me why the cat skeleton has ears in death? Ears are made of cartilage, first of all. They're not bone. Okay, you don't need to be putting the ears on the mice and the cats and the pigs and the dogs after they've expired from this realm. I mean, if you're gonna do ears, at least give them to everybody. You know, give them to the snail, the lizard, the owl, the owl. The, the owl one already has ears, for God's sake. Owls don't even have ears when they're alive. Those are tufts for camouflage, you fools. Sometimes I just want to leave this planet. Yeah, it's pretty sure like you can like, you can see from behind, you can even see behind of their eyeballs, right? And they have like very weird bowels like that. But yeah, I think there's two sides to this, right? Like he said, I'm pretty sure they knew about it, but they didn't care. Like somebody just drew the animal they thought of and give it to a person who makes these molds and things. And they're like, yeah, just make that, including the ear, who cares? And like somebody must have had this conversation, like this is not accurate. Somebody like, it's Halloween, who cares? Just move on. It's about to be, it's about all fun and things, not accuracy. So I, I guess there are two sides like that, right? They knew about it. They thought about it. They're like, nobody cares. Like it's fun thing. So they deliberately made it like that. Only problem is, I would be incurring outrageous roaming fees. But there's good news. Saley eSIM is here to save us and our wallets. Saley is a digital SIM card that's as easy to set up as one, two, three. Here's how it works. Download the Saley app, pick your data plan based on the country you're headed to, use code JOHNTRON at checkout for a 15% discount, and hit install eSIM. Done. No tiny SIM cards, no headaches, just pure connectivity. And it's automatic. Your plan activates as soon as you arrive, so no more annoying moments of being at the airport and going, WHERE'S THE WI-FI?! Quite simply, Saley eSIM saves you from getting slammed with ridiculous roaming fees. Need a seven-day plan in France? Boom! Grab it and go. You pay for what you need and not a penny extra. And good news, you can get an exclusive 15% discount on their data plans. Just download the Saley app and use code JOHNTRON at checkout. Links in the description and the pinned comment. So once again, thanks to Saley for making this video possible. Please show them some love and support. And as for the rest of you, happy travels. All right, back to the video. Okay, uh, now that we've got the anatomy of the animal kingdom covered, uh, let's move on to my next gripe. Everyone's a skeletal comedian. Now, unless you live in some holiday lover's totalitarian regime, you're generally not obligated to put out decorations, right? Like, I know there's a bit of peer pressure. Uh, your neighbor, after all, has the amazing animatronic Frankenstein on their roof. Uh, so you gotta do something or you just look bad. Well, you wanna know one easy way not to let the neighborhood down? Don't even start if you're just gonna put a skeleton in a lawn chair and call it quits. That's right. I'm standing up and saying it. Yeah, in here, obviously not a Halloween thing, but in here in Diwali, which is now, Halloween Diwali usually is like very close this time. It's literally the same. I think it's the same day. I don't know. But yeah, uh, there's not like decor. It's lighting decoration, peer pressure, right? I, I'll, I'll lit up my whole house with the lighting decoration right now. So yeah, I have like three story house. So like before I wasn't like, you know, but the past two years or something, I'm going all out from top to bottom. There you go. It takes time and fuck it, but I don't care. The skeleton in a lawn chair thing is just lazy. I don't want to go so far as to say it's literally visual littering, but it's literally visual littering. Like, I'm just saying, there's only so many times you can see the same scene and not go crazy. I know, you all have lawn chairs. Put it in something else. It's, why is it always lawn chairs? Also, genuine question, why are the skeletons always day drinking? I swear, like, they're always day drinking. Couldn't it have at least been an attempt at a horror theme? Like, give them a cleaver instead of a Mai Tai? And quickly, while we're on the subject... That's because the whole, like, yeah, you know, sports element, right? Uh, people like the day whenever they take day off or whatever and just like goes to like some kind of like NFL so and just like drinks beer and that's it That's the whole American thing, isn't it? So they just mimic that there 
subject of visual littering, can I just say, it doesn't count as decorations if you're just cluttering your yard with like tombstones, bones, cobwebs, small animals, just unattached to anything in no particular order. Granted, I will concede, I could be wrong on this one because that's actually, that is really what graveyards look like. Cemeteries, everything's like sunken in and decaying and stuff. Actually, that is actually what it looks like. I might've been wrong on this one. Debris field lovers, one point to Gryffindor. Don't come to my house for Halloween. I, my candy has razors in it. Anyways, I know we've been on the topic of skeletons a while, but alas, there is one more massive skeleton, no pun intended, that we must approach here. And it is, of course, the gigantic fucking skeletons. This is a ruse that's been played so effectively on the American public, I can really only sit back in awe at it. It's nearly on the level of like when tobacco companies convinced people that cigarettes were good for them. And that ruse is convincing you that you're- I don't think they convinced it's good for them, it's cool. I think that was going about cool element. I'm pretty sure there was like something about nicotine and this and that, how it's calming. And sure there are like health benefits there, obviously. But the problems outweigh health benefits like uh, exponentially. But yeah, there was a time, like, they, they were like, yeah, what is it, heroin or cocaine? I don't, I don't remember. Cough syrup, right? That was something way back 100 years ago, but yeah, there you go. You're gonna want, nay, need a gigantic fucking skeleton for your lawn. Trust me, you will want this. You won't regret this. You won't have foot. the thing where you've got to justify your purchase. What is this, skeleton of siren head? What the, what the hell? Skeleton of, uh, what, what else is the other creature that they're tall? That's insane and hide from everyone that you know you've been played. And by the way, this doesn't even just apply to giant skeletons specifically. Like these days, every time you walk into a Lowe's around October, they've got it right at the entrance. You're like, oh my God, look, they, they have an entire full scale raw iron cemetery archway. I need that, I need that. No, you'll put that together every year. Yeah, of course, I know you'll like doing it. You do have storage space for that and you won't want to die when you see its dumb head in your basement and it looks bigger there now. You don't. <laughs> but we all saw this coming though, didn't we? We knew this was gonna happen because a couple years back there was that eight foot skeleton craze all over social media. It was like the scary clowns one, but the difference is you didn't buy the clown and keep it at your house. Now you've got people going a couple different ways with this one, a couple different methods of action here. Some people just keep upping the arms race and putting up bigger and bigger skeletons. But intuitively we all know that is the primrose path to a mutually assured destruction. So the path that most people seem to end up taking is just repurposing them for Christmas and other holidays. A lot of the time they don't even get repurposed. People just leave them up all year round because no one wants to deal with the damn things. What How does a skeleton make sense in Christmas or any other holiday? Easter, you're gonna decorate a skeleton at Easter. How does that even make sense? What a surprise, who could have seen this coming? This is honestly like leaving your Christmas decorations up, but on steroids. I'm honestly surprised like people don't talk about this one more. Also, when everyone has the same goddamn skeleton in their yard, it's just weird. This one, we, we gotta put an end to this one, don't we? Uh, I think this one needs government intervention and regulation. It starts with you and me, but mostly you, let's be real. Also, just to slide this in here, cause I don't have too much of a problem with the inflatable lobby. Re yeah, it becomes a thing that people do, right? Like iPhone. People buy iPhone, so I'm gonna buy iPhone, whether it makes sense or not, that type of shit. So everybody does it, like you have to do it now, otherwise you'll be the weird one. That's, that's what that all about is. Realistically, but some of these lawn inflatables, like what is going on? Does anyone actually buy this stuff? 6.5 foot long Halloween inflatables, cuddling couple lovers with built-in LEDs. Oh my God, man, like they're really looking longingly at each other. Get you someone who looks at you like that. They don't even have eyes. Product size, big, it's big. You won't be able to escape it. Listen, we got waterproof design, high power fan, fast inflator. That's my street name. I don't know how that got there, scratch that off. Listen, all I'm saying here in summary is you need to be jailed if you buy this one for real. So there's only one choice, let's buy it and put it up. Let's put this up, let's put this bad boy up. What do you say? What do you say, man behind the camera? Nod, nod, nod like it's a Nickelodeon show. <laughs> Thank you. Mmm, I feel like I'm unraveling some kind of like decaying corpse here. There it is. It came together surprisingly quickly. It's, it's what was described. Look at it from this angle. It's really like well positioned. It looks like he's propping himself up and everything. Yeah, anything inflatable, there's a risk there, right? I, I think I remember buying an inflatable sofa for whatever reason. I don't know what the reason was because I said, fuck it. And I realized like, even the smallest things goes bad. A small 
extremely small hole and that's all you need for it slowly deflating mine had like such a small hole i couldn't even find it it was deflating so slowly like uh, over time i realized wait a minute this is not as you know like it was and it just deflates and deflates like what the fuck i didn't find it replaced it same issue same issue i'm like fuck it just refunded it since that i don't buy anything that has like inflatable elements to it shit like that you inflate it you don't even realize it immediately until it's too late like wait a minute there's a problem with this i to keep keep put air inside because it's like deflating all the time this is heartwarming this is honestly this is heartwarming like it's not every day you see a love story like this don't ever do that again don't ever do this again i'm going home all right a meme. on to our next culprit live laugh scare it's finally happened. The wine moms are colonizing Halloween. Look, I'm just saying, you can't just put spooky on a mug. You can't just slap eek on a pumpkin and expect me to get scared. Hey, it's like, it's like saying happy on the mug. What does that even mean? Is this supposed to make me heavy? The fuck is that? Halloween, carve jack-o'-lanterns, eat lots of candy, share your treats, cast a spell, brew some fun. What is this, a Halloween decoration or a fucking prescription? I'm just here for the booze. <laughs> okay, ah! how was that? Is that what you ordered? Be careful what you wish for. And I mean, it wouldn't be so bad if it stopped there, but then, you know, it inevitably moves on to the obligatory eat, drink, be scary kind of thing. It's just a blatant rebranding of all that inspirational decor. You know, it's got like no creativity. No, we shan't allow it. Halloween is about Dracula, real one with blood. Look, I know what you're thinking. I know it's a really basic bitch comment for me, but honestly, what is it with these signs people put up in their kitchen that just say shit like eat? Like, are you some kind of fucking mindless att I hate that. I really hate that. Like, it's like you, you don't have any creativity, but you somehow has like either peer pressure or just you think you're like, you want to be edgy and cool. Just want to put something there or like eat for see how, how different. Nah, it's just like you just, it's this blatant thing, isn't it? Like, oh, eat, eat, you know, I don't know, food and shit like that. Right. I don't know. What is it like government mandated thing? You have to have that. What the fuck is that? automaton you forgot what this area of the house is for you know it could make sense honestly for halloween you could rebrand this as being for a lobotomy victim it's to help frankenstein with the screws through his brain get his three square meals a day and look i admit it's not even really a problem people like what they like uh, until you start getting things like this who is responsible for this who does this appeal to Oh, they really cornered the skeleton with a tiara browsing its phone while shitting on a pink toilet demographic. Thank God, because that was a big hole in revenue in Q3 last year. Actually, I am genuinely asking to be educated here. Where does this even go? I don't think I could accurately place that anywhere, even if I tried. Maybe a museum of what happens when society goes too far? <laughs> on your toilet, above the toilet. <laughs> you know, have your actual toilet, which is closed, and put this on top of that, which is like a miniature toilet and skeleton sitting on top just put it there so any of your guests or whatever is there <laughs> want to go toilet they can't now because there's something on top it is like another element there there you go oh your toilet like i want to go toilet it's like some skeleton with its own toilet is there like yeah there you go another halloween decoration run you know run homo i don't know you can go here and then of course what video on halloween decoration sins would be complete without the quick craft section you know who i mean the people getting a bit extracurricular with their five minute endeavors let's have a look at what they've been up to shall we okay what do we got here she's stirring the purple in a cauldron in a witch costume that's yep get the friends involved everyone just stick your shit in the in the alignate of course and the gypsum. I was gonna say, obviously you probably have some of that under your sink. Everybody's got a bit of gypsum around. It, what, what the fuck is, it's just a cast of like a hand and a foot? Yeah, I'm sure all the freaking science experiment chemicals was worth not just buying the already painted one from Spirit Halloween for like two bucks. All right, we're wrapping her up. Oh yeah, I'm sure she's enjoying that. Leave holes for the nose. You can't forget that. That's an important part of this process. Oh, that's for Peter Griffin, I guess. There you go, family guy. Oh, I saw that on the YouTube and just like wrapping us <laughs> Mag, there you go. Mag suffocating now. Oh, just stop squirming, will you? <laughs> I'll give you the signal if I can't breathe. If you see me mildly wriggling and going... <laughs> yeah, but just that's when you know. That's when you'll know. What are they doing? You, you didn't need that. You could have just used like a mannequin or something. Why do you have to like put the life of your friend at risk? How'd you do the baby one? That looks like an actual baby. What's with the position he was in? Timmy, come here. Call, call, call child service call something happened <laughs> call child service like yeah 
A kid who didn't want to be part of that somehow was made part of that. There you go. Here, stop struggling! <laughs> he stopped crying after a while, but now you have your eerie spectacle. You have that. Moving on. Okay, what do we have here? What do we have here? What's, what the fuck is going on? Okay, and your next step is, of course, fill it out. Fill it on out. We, it was just, it was a guide. It was a guide. How else am I supposed to get that shape? Oh no. What are you doing? You stinky ah. You're gonna put that out the front of a cafe after where that's been? Is this an FDA hazard? Everybody just saw where that's come from. The stink lines are coming off that thing. You're adding extra spices to people's pumpkin spices. I'm just saying, this is a horror show. Okay, this one, I'm not so sure about it. You reuse some of your recycling. That's, uh, that's nice. There you go, see? You didn't even need to use like your actual live friend for this. And it got up anyway, which defeats the purpose. God! You can't traumatize me further. What? Oh, okay, why'd you put this? Big if true, big implications if true. Although success on this front, I think still does imply failure. It's all over. Happy Halloween, folks. You have a safe one. Until next time. Yeah, there's a success. They're all failure. Failure from here inside. And I guess people like with the TikTok and all those trends now, people are gonna do ridiculous shit. But there you go, creativity. Why do you need people for that? So they can claim like this, like from from my size or some shit, rather than just using something from the internet. It's like the personal touch. I guess people value. Why not? Right, well, those are the many sins of Halloween decoration. People do very weird shit. But yeah, 